From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Violet Skybor. Good morning, everyone. Much colder than we were yesterday, and we're also dealing with some snow, but a better chance for snow looks to arrive as we head into tomorrow. A live look from our Cavi Tower Cam this morning. Cloudy skies over the Mohawk Valley and some light snow as well as a weak cold front moves through the region. But the best chance for snow later today is going to be in the north country. There's a lake effect snow warning for Lewis County from right now until 1 a.m. tonight heading into Sunday. From our weather headlines, what we're talking about. Again, a cold front moves through this morning with just some flurries. Not really a huge accumulation from this as it does exit the region today. But the, the chance for snow will continue as some lake effect snow showers develop in the north country for the rest of today. Dry weather for the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys, though. However, everyone is going to see the chance for snow as we head into tomorrow as a bigger system moves into the region. A live look from our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 radar. Seeing those flurries across the region as a cold front moves east. But behind this, we're going to have drier air move into the region, but also colder air. This is going to drive some cold air over the Great Lakes. You can even see behind this cold front lake effect flurries on all of the Great Lakes. But we are going to have a southwest wind. This is going to keep all of the lake effect in the north country for today drier weather for the Mohawk Valley and the Southern Valleys. Much colder than we were yesterday. 21 degrees in Gray, 26 for Mike in New Hartford, 20 for George and Glenmore, 26 over in Westdale. As we head down to the Southern Valleys this morning, still chilly, 22 for Stewart and Cooperstown, 24 for Mark and Milford, 24 for Scott in Edmiston. As we have throughout this weekend, temperatures don't change much in the 20s today and tomorrow. Just some snow in the north country for today, but tomorrow we'll have that widespread snow arrive. And timing this out, again, flurries this morning across the region as a cold front moves through. By this afternoon, the snow will only be in the north country as some lake effect develops, with even some peaks of sunshine throughout the Mohawk Valley and Southern Valleys today. Highs reach the mid-20s, cooling down quickly tonight with mostly clear skies as that snow does come to an end tonight. So how much snow we can expect from now through this evening? Only one to three inches for the North Country and just a trace to one inch for the Mohawk Valley. Really not a whole lot left. Now as we head into Sunday, cloud cover increases as we look towards Sunday morning. But by the afternoon, that's when that snow becomes widespread, continuing until Sunday night. And throughout the day Sunday, again, really not a huge accumulation. The greatest going to be in the North Country, two to four inches and one to two inches further south than that. For today, snow across the region, but staying in the north country later today, highs reach the mid-20s. Into tonight, mostly clear skies and chilly, dropping down into the single digits. Here's a look at the rest of your forecast. Widespread snow on Sunday, temperatures in the 20s, dropping down only to 20 degrees for the start of the week, and the single digits multiple nights this week as well. Here's your trivia question. Yesterday was nice. We reached a high of 44 degrees. How close is this to the record high? I'll go with a D, 17 degrees. We actually were only six degrees away from breaking the record. The record is 51, oh. so we don't get this warm this time of year, but it was nice yesterday. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. I thought in the past we might have got up to 60, but guess not. Yeah. 50. 50. 